Still on Women's Day, the National Assembly has expressed its readiness to amend the Constitution to ensure gender parity and enact laws to improve the fortunes of women and girls in Nigeria. This decision is coming on the heels of International Women's Day, which was celebrated across the world on March 8. The Senate has resolved to expunge provisions of the law as contained in the Police Act, Federal Character Law, Electoral Act, Labor Act, Political Parties Constitutions, which infringes on the rights of women in Nigeria. The motion was sponsored by Senator Betty Apiafi and co-sponsored by Senators Aisha Dahiru Ahmed from Adama Uluremi Tinumbu from Lagos, Biodun Olujimi from Ekiti, Senator Ekon Eyakein from Akwaibom, and some other female senators. Coming under Order 42 and 52 of the Senate Standing Rules, Senator Apiafi noted that the International Women's Day, which is celebrated on the 8th of March every year, is a day set aside globally to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. According to the lawmaker, gender parity is a statistical measure that compares women and men through their income, education, and work as, among other points. Jeanette is concerned that at the national level, gender inequality still exists. For instance, there is a record of only one female governor in the history of Nigeria, few female deputy governors, the rest are always men. The Ninth National Assembly in Nigeria has a record of only eight female senators, while the rest are all men. Against, again, there are only seven female ministers in Nigeria, which represent just about 15.9% of the entire 44 member male ministers, um, um, member ministerial list. This again reflects the need for, for, for gender equality. Contributing other female lawmakers call for the mainstreaming of women affairs in the national planning. The stakeholders within our rural communities today are women. The farmers in our rural communities today are women. Mr. President, is there any reason why women are not fully participating? President of the Senate, Ahmed Alawan, in his remarks, said the provision of equal opportunities for women would on the long run be in the interest of Nigeria as a nation. I believe that um, there's no deliberate way that men will ever uh, do to undermine women. We came from mothers, we have daughters, we have wives. And I, 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 I believe that we, we are together in this with our women. Uh, it's in the interest of our nation that we work together to give uh, our women proper uh, opportunities for them to also excel. The Senate, in its resolution, urged the National Assembly to challenge and change laws that infringe on women's rights, such as the Police Act, Federal Character Law, Electoral Act, Labor Act, political party constitutions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.